Sensors are playing an increasingly important role in consumer electronics, and we're seeing that trend play out here at the 2015 International CES, from smart home and fitness tracking devices to clothing, toys, and even cars. So we are the iTribe. Uh, what we have here is uh, the iTribe Tracker, one, one of the innovation awards here, best of innovation. And uh, it's a $99 device we're shipping now that enables eye control on mobile devices. In this case, we attach this via USB to a tablet, a Surface Pro. And then I can do eye tracking. So you can see here, as I look at the different icons, Netflix, Major Mayhem, Nightmare, Lego, Gaze Galaxy, Scroll, it actually highlights that because it knows exactly where I'm looking on the screen. These tiny sensors enhance our technology experience and the world around us. We, we really think posture is the next big thing, not only in healthcare but in wearable technology. People are becoming more and more aware of the negative effects of prolonged sitting, but also sitting hunched over our computers. So Upright is a wearable device that trains our users to sit with a correct posture. So every time you start to slouch, it'll gently vibrate, reminding you to sit back upright. The whole concept is what we want to do is we want to train you to sit with an upright posture, so eventually you can do it even without the device. It's what we call a wearable enviro tracker. We know all the fad right now is Fitbits, heart rate monitors, and everyone's trying to get healthy, and that's 50% of the battle. But what a lot of people don't realize is the other 50% is the environment you breathe and you're involved in it every day. So what we focus on is we have an air quality sensor that we've custom built ourselves, it's proprietary, but we also do temperature, humidity, barometric pressure, and UV. So you're essentially also kind of a walking weather station on top of that. Global market revenue for sensors found in mobile devices will reach $6.5 billion in 2018. So we've brought a wearable, a wearable for asthmatics, and the problem is that many asthmatics wait until they're wheezing, or they're coughing and they have a lot of difficulty breathing to then figure out that they're having an asthmatic attack. So our wearable monitors them and we identify their possibility of an attack in advance, say 12 to 24 hours before. We created the first robotic printer, um, the smallest printer right now in the market. It's a printer that connects to any device and can print on any size of paper, anywhere you want it. Um, so basically, this is the way a printer should look in 2015. The next generation of sensor devices is here at the 2015 International CES. For CES TV, I'm Alison Freed.